Yo, hope all is well, it's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to another video. So today I actually wanted to share my experience using the Yuma Digi X Bison X20 after about two weeks now. And I wanted to share with you um, more than five reasons why you should buy the Yuma Digi X20. So I just wanted to jump into this video because I really enjoy using this smart device. I thought I would just share my experiences with it after I've been using it for a little bit of time and I've definitely been enjoying it. So I just wanted to share some of the things that I definitely think make this phone a selling, uh, top selling like budget device, especially for the price under 150. So make sure you guys stay locked in. If you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new to the crew, but if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top five, more than, top, more than five reasons to buy the Yuma Digi Bison X20. So the first thing that I definitely think we should take a look at when it comes to the Bison X20 is the notification light on here. So uh, let me lock the phone and I'm pretty sure you can see that. This device does have a lift to wake feature. So when you lift it and look at it, it will um, sort of, um, you know what I mean? Like unlock, but you can see right here, it does have a notification light that is blue. So when it turns blue, that means that you're gonna be getting in a, a notification on this device. Um, when it's red, that means the battery is low, but it's very rare that you see a notification light on um, most smartphones nowadays. So I definitely think that's something that you, we should definitely um, mention right so the notification light is going to help you when you receive an incoming phone calls messages alerts you if you look at the top right corner of the device you can actually check to see if you received the notification before um you, you before unlocking it which is definitely going to be helpful right so the second feature is that this device does support ldac i was um using a bunch of different bluetooth headphones on he, on this device and a lot of budget phones for this price don't offer the LDAC support. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect my sound peats right here, which actually do offer that function. So let's go ahead and connect these to the device, right? So I'm gonna go into Bluetooth. You can see it's already connected. If I go into the um, you know, the the settings right here, you can see sound peats go free too. These headphones actually support LDAC. And when you go into the Bluetooth right here, you can see that the phone supports it as well. A lot of phones like iPhones don't even support this feature. Like iPhones are like uh, almost 1500 to like almost $2,000, right? And, they, and this $150 phone actually supports LDAC and, and um, it's only $150. So I thought that was pretty crazy when I saw it because I wasn't expecting to see LDAC support on here. But I definitely think that that's a solid feature when it comes to listening to music with this device, okay? So that's the number set two reason why you should buy the Yuma Digi Bison X20. The number third reason is that this device also does offer headphone jack support. So at the top, you can see right here, it does have the headphone jack on there, bumper protection on the sides. Um, this device has a premium feel and weight to it. It doesn't feel too heavy for me, honestly. After using my Pixel, um, you know, Fold or whatever, this device is probably the heaviest device I've ever owned. And the Yuma Digi is around the same amount of weight as the Pixel. So they actually have a similar weight to them. Uh, so I got used to using the Yuma Digi right away. It might be slightly lighter than the Pixel Fold, but the Pixel Fold, it was like one of the most heaviest devices I've ever used in my entire life. And now that phone doesn't feel too heavy after using it for a little bit of time. Neither does the Bison. It actually feels really nice um, in the hand. It, the weight gives it like a premium feel to it, which I do like. I also do like uh, number four is that this device will have... Um, I just mentioned it facial unlock with the lift to weight. Uh, let me see if I could do it. Um, but I am wearing glasses and I am wearing headphones and a hat. So it might not recognize my face right now. So let me lock it right here. Uh, okay, there we go. And then it has the lift to weight. So if you lift it and look at it, it should unlock. Now I might have to take some of this stuff off for it to work. So let's try this 
um, real quick. So let's go ahead and lift it. And there we go. You can see it did unlock. Let's try that one more time. Perfect. So with the facial unlock on this phone, it's actually going to be very helpful for a lot of people who are using this device when um, you're unlocking it. If you don't you want to use the primary unlocking method, which is going to be your fingerprint sensor on the side. And that thing is actually pretty fast as well. So let me show you. That thing is very fast, the fingerprint sensor on here. And what I did was I actually registered the same finger twice. Um, so it's 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 uh, registered twice to increase the overall unlocking capability. So I would recommend doing that just to make it speed up. Now, the fifth thing, the reason why you should buy this device is the shortcut keys. So if you go into settings and if you go into hot key right here, you're going to see that we have a hot key on the left side of the phone right here, the orange highlighted button with some texture so you can kind of differentiate it. You also do have a SIM slot um, with a TF card or a SIM uh, or a SD card, and you can remove that with a fingernail. So you don't actually need the needle to remove it. But you also do have your second hot key on the right bottom corner, which you could find with your ring finger right here. And when I double tap that, I can open up Gemini, which I did. At, um, it, sh it says right here, not supported the Gemini feature. But then when I when I double tap that again, uh, it does actually let me open up Gemini and then I could do. Um, OK, Google. Uh, what is the weather right now? It's 74 and sunny. And tap it again. Oh, are the Knicks playing? Okay, Google. Are the Knicks playing today? Today, the Knicks will be playing the Spurs in San Antonio. And okay, so so you can see the shortcut key comes in handy with the assistant. It also does have a single press, a double tap, and a long press feature for both of those. So the single press is my flashlight on the, this feature right here. Then I have the long press to open up the underwater camera. So this is cool because you can actually toggle through um, right here. You could you could definitely switch with the volume buttons. You could switch this. And then if I long press this button again, it can flip the camera around to my face. So you don't because underwater, you won't be able to control it. But with those buttons, it allows you to actually control it. Yeah, let's take a picture real quick so you can see the quality uh, portrait photo of my face just so you could kind of see the quality of this device but look i gotta switch it with this top volume rocker then i could switch the modes and everything and to take the picture you actually got to click the um button right here the, the action button and then it takes the photo so it, it doesn't actually work with touch controls when you're inside of the um what you call it the underwater camera the screen is actually deactivated from being pressed so i think that's cool because you could use the camera underwater in a pool or in the ocean this device is rated um this that that brings me to i'm, I'm gonna um skip um th that part for later but if you're still here just type down below in the comment section i'm still here so i know you're still kicking it with me and i just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help beat the youtube algorithm okay so um the sixth reason is that this device does have a 6,000 milliamp hour battery and i've been using this device like ev all day right now and i'm i, I have for the battery um you could pretty much use this thing a, a full day and you can't kill it that's one of the things i noticed um usually i'm getting uh six to eight maybe nine hours screen on time because literally this phone has been on all day long and i really can't kill the battery um something's kind of messed up with the battery usage here because when i go into here i can't see my screen on time or whatever but i could see how long i've been using it so Ever since I've been using this device, that feature hasn't worked, but you do get adaptive battery on here. So it'll limit the battery for apps that you don't use um, and basically optimize it. So I think that's something that's pretty cool. Another thing that this device offers for one hundred and fifty dollars or lower, depending on where you purchase it. And I'll leave the cheapest links down below is that it does support the Google Wallet with the NFC feature. 
so you can actually turn on the nfc and use this for contactless payments and this makes it very convenient if you're in a grocery store and you forget your wallet you don't have to run back into the car to get your wallet you can just tap and pay and then just bounce and it's very straightforward um when you use that feature you could just add it the google wallet or whatever whatever bank account is connected to the device so um the hot key is solid the battery life is solid it has ldac support um this device will have an hd plus display but it actually is good to look at it doesn't get extremely bright outside but you can view it outdoors without any issues whatsoever so i definitely think that's a solid feature about it now the next feature i want to talk about is the ram boost feature on here um i also want to mention this phone doesn't have an app draw so if you want to download your own um what you call it launcher it will um you can use it but i actually have become very familiar and i've been using this um i like this because it gives you like this uh side folder kind of like how iphones have that side folder on the last page where all your apps are stored and you can get to all of them but i haven't been using the launcher because it doesn't have one so i just stick stuck out with this launcher and i definitely think the launcher on here is pretty solid but you can definitely get your RAM boost feature if you go into the memory option right here. So you want to go to memory expansion and you can add the six gigabytes of RAM on top of the six that's already on here, making it be able to open apps, more apps in the background and keep those apps in the background open for longer periods of time, which makes the, the phone very optimized for multitasking and using it simultaneously with certain apps which is pretty cool now um this device like i said is completely waterproof which is another really cool thing it's also ip69 standard 8100 um when it comes to this um certification meaning that you can put this dust was proof and waterproof and so those are the highest standards for military grade drop protection at one point eight meters of distance which is crazy because if you work in construction you're definitely going to be able to um, withstand a lot of drops and that's not without going to say that i do drop phones every now and then i did drop my motorola g play 2024 right here you can see this thing has a um, screen protector over top of the drop because i did install that before i dropped it it still works and everything like that but you won't have that issue with the bison you won't even need to buy a case i actually dropped this and i didn't have a case on it but the bison that's another thing you don't need a case with this thing so you, you won't even need to buy a case this device does it doesn't feel bulky even though it does have those rubberized grips on the side and the um ac matte material on the back the matte uh, fiberglass is actually really smooth it has a nice design overall to the back of it it looks like uh it has like this like um kind of like a, a a a glow to it depending on what direction you turn it in the light so it has like this sparkly look to it on the back with the fiberglass and um you know the speakers right below the logo i like this overall design that yuma digi put on here and then they also put um that it's waterproof right here so you can see that it's waterproof and then on this side you can see that it says shock proof it's also dust wood uh, dust proof so you can't get dust in here so you know that's another really cool feature about the humidity and another reason why you should buy it the uh, bison x20 um, this device also will allow you to share your screen to smart tvs because it has the screencast feature and i tried it out and it worked without any issues whatsoever so you do get that screencast feature when you have your smart tv turned on you could pair up your device to the smart tv which is also cool you also do have your screen recording feature as well so you could actually um, record the screen while you're um, talking and everything like that um, which make it really nice when you're using it so you can see the google wallet is there for my tap to pay and everything like that uh I, I really like this device um because of some of those some of those features um another cool feature is that it does have an optimization app right here and a, a, a fm radio so the fm radio right here is extremely solid the signal on this radio is really good and clear it's one of the most clearest radios i've ever listened to on a smartphone 
And I like the fact that you don't need a headphone jack or Bluetooth connected to actually use it. So I really like that feature. You also do get your toolbox in here with all of your abilities. Um, so you get the flashlight, obviously, and then you get the bubble leveler, which will actually show when something is centered, um, horizontal and vertical, a picture hanger. So it tells you you can actually hang stuff up on the wall and measure it out to make sure it's straight before you actually put it on there. You get your alarm which is gets really loud you get this like strobe light flashlight on the back if you're an emergency an alarm to kind of like alert people like something's happening and the screen flash too to kind of draw attention to yourself a projector you also do get the compass on this device as well um making it pretty um utilitarian when it comes to the usage you also do get this option for your compass which you have to calibrate it by doing like a, a thing like a figure eight and then it can actually detect direction that you're pointing the phone in this is going to come in handy on hikes and things like that when you're actually outdoors or whatever so um that's pretty straightforward but i like those features about it i definitely think those features are gonna make it more of useful and then you get this um zello is what i downloaded this app because inside of the hot key you, you have this walkie talkie feature and when you go to like one of these shortcuts it actually has an open zello fate function so you can actually use this phone as a walkie talkie and i, I think that's going to be solid a little bit quicker than text messaging because you could just use your voice versus typing or whatever or unless you do like voice typing but that's going to be pretty solid if you wanted to actually use the zello walkie talkie feature on here but the last feature I wanted to talk about was the secured face unlock because it actually lets you unlock the phone. Let's go into security and you can see face unlock and fingerprint. I'm going to click that and I'm going to enter my pin number. And then I just wanted to show you real quick that it actually does give you. Um, let me see if I go to face unlock right here, you can see that it actually has activate screen, fill light and dark environments. It also has require your eyes to be open, which is um, really important. Then you could also skip the lock screen so you don't have to swipe after you look at it. So requiring your eyes to be open actually enhances the security. But these are my um, these are more than five reasons why you should buy the Umidigi Bison X20. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and show your support and appreciation. And I just want to remind you to type I'm still here. So I know you're still kicking it with me and just um, I, I definitely want uh, want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help beat the YouTube algorithm. And I'm going to hit you back. I'll check you guys later. OK, later, crew. Peace.